Good afternoon, God blesses me, Denature Thomas, we're keeping it real, GBP. The music that you hear in the background, I don't own the copyrights to it, <laughs> but you know what, God has blessed us with these with these beautiful words, and I just love it, because uh, God knows each and every last one of our names, he knows every piece of hair on our head. The first thing we do before we get into the word, and we're going to be on John chapter 21, and we're going to start off at verse 3, but you already know I'm going to be paraphrasing because I have already read it. Uh, but y'all start off on, on verse 3. Uh, when I read the word, I like to contain the word and, you know, paraphrase it so that you can understand. And, you know, it, it, it's just so beautiful. It's all about him and how Jesus was always a servant. First thing that we do, we pray. Heavenly Father, we just give you the glory, the praise, the honor, and the thanksgiving for all the things that you have done and that you are doing in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the same today, tomorrow, and forever. You are loving, kind, compassionate, merciful, graceful, filled with unfolding love, forgiveness, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing, Lord. We wake up in the presence of your greatness, full of your joy, knowing that you have us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for keeping on sauteing and simmers in your son uh, blood, Lord. And we're getting your understanding and not our own. We're doing your will and not our own. We're your servants. And all we can say is hallelujah. We give only you the glory, the praise, and the thanksgiving. Lord, we submit and surrender all will to you. We give our children to you. We give our ancestors to you. We give our descendants to you because you care about the anguish of our soul. Our spirits are in your hand because you care about the anguish of our soul. You are our provider, our healer, our miracle, and our may waker, Lord. It's, it's, it's all or nothing when it comes to you because you are a jealous, God. And you're the only God. And Lord, it's all about you, Lord. I, I'm your servant, and I just thank you all that you're doing. When you sit up there and you read in John uh, chapter uh, 21, and you start off at verse 3, and we are going to read a little. For number one, you got to understand the disciples were sitting up there catching fish. Peter, I had wanted to go fishing. And so, you know, the rest said, we'll come. You know, we'll come. And so they went out there. It was at nighttime. They stayed all night. They didn't catch no fish. And here's Jesus. He's on the shore. He's cooking bread and he's cooking uh, fish over coal. And so he hollers out to the disciples saying, have you caught anything? And they said, no. So he says, put your net on the right hand side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, put your net on the right hand side. And when the disciples, and this is only seven of them, when the disciples put it, their net on the right hand side, that the net filled up with fish. So we look at this right there. Jesus says, put it on the right hand side because he knew that the fish was right there. And he knew when he, they put that net right there, that that net would be overflowing with fish. Overflowing with fish. And that's how he is because he knows all, but he don't know everything because the father's not going to tell him when he's going to do what he's going to do. Because father says, be, uh, be ready, get ready, and always stay ready. And so here it comes. So uh, Simon Peter realized that uh, this is Jesus. He's talking. So Simon Peter, he gets out of the boat. He runs to shore because they're only a thousand, about a thousand uh, yards from the, from shore. So he's running this up to the Messiah. So he gets to the Messiah and the rest of them, they're rolling in the boat. So here we go. Jesus got bread. He's got, he's got uh, uh, fish over coal done. And he tells Simon Peter, go get some more of that fish over there. Simon and Peter go get it, but they realized this net didn't tear. They had 153 fish, and, and, and they're sitting up there like, you know, wow. The other disciples dare not ask. They dare not ask of, of the Messiah who he was because they knew it was the Lord. They knew it was the Lord. This is the third time the disciples have seen the Lord since he had risen from the dead. You understand, my brothers, this is the third time. Here is Jesus, the first time they seen him. They're sitting up there, they're eating food, and Jesus appeared, and he comes, and they think that he was a ghost. So Jesus says, hey, give me something to eat. And the disciples gave him some what? Boiled fish and honey. You know what? My husband loves a lot of fish. <laughs> but so this is what you sit up there, and you realize, wow, they did not just see Jesus one time. They did not see Jesus two times. But this is the third time that they have seen Jesus. The third time, Jesus is going around showing everybody here, the new body, here, what 
but what Isaiah said is true. You know, it, it, everything in the word of God is true. But people ain't getting this. They're not dining on what is going on. They can't famine. They can't think. Hey, guess what? He was showing us. He's walking around on earth. Still serving us. Cooking and, and making bread from scratch. And making bo a, a, a fish over a fire. It wasn't boiled. It was fried that day. Because it was over a fire. When he ate the first time, it was boiled fish. When you read in Hebrews uh, chapter 5, and he start talking about the milk and the food, the spiritual growth. And he says, you know, uh, if you're still drinking milk, and what, 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 what the disciple was mean, what Jesus was, what they were talking about then. When you're sitting up there and you're in your word and you're doing God's will, you shouldn't be on milk no more. You're supposed to be on solid foods. You're supposed to be going out there. Talking about the Lord. And that's why Jesus says, uh, Simon, son of Peter do, Peter, do you love me? He asked him this question three times because Jesus said, if you love me, you're going to go out there. You're going to feed me my feed my sheep. You're going to let everybody know about me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Ephesians 4, he talks about uh, your ways of how you used to steal, how you used to lie, how you was promiscuous. And the worst of sin that we can do to the Holy Spirit of the living God is the sexual ones. When you sit up there and you see all these things that's going on, and he says when you have been renewed, when you got doing the Holy Spirit, when you're on solid foods, the things that we used to do, we don't do no more. We don't steal. We don't lie. We're not the adulterers. We're not out there doing the things of the flesh. We're doing the things of the Spirit, and we're loving everybody. 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 We let the Lord use us at all times. Because Jesus came down here to serve. He served the Lord us. He came down here to teach us how to be servants. And that's what he did. And then he died. For each and every last one of our sins. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 He died for each and every last one of us. And when we receive and we're doing what is right, that means we're on solid food. And the only thing we're doing is feeding the sheep and always going out there talking about the Lord. Always. Always talking about the Lord, praising the Lord, thanking the Lord. Even when we're going through times and troubles, trials and tribulation, we're praising the Lord for what he has done. Because we know that he is with us. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for everything. Because we know that he's got us. And we only serve one God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One God, and that is the Father, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Y'all have a blessed day, and please share and let people know about Jesus. Also, also there's a product that's coming on, and this is God's company, and this is anointed by the Lord, the Diavia sauce. It's the every day and every way on everything sauce, just like Jesus. <laughs> And, you know, we look at the obvious, and when you look at the word obvious, and obvious means to see clearly, and that's the vision for 2020, uh, clear vision. So, that's all him. We give him only the glory, the praise, and the honor, and the thanksgiving for all the miracles and the wonders that he's doing and how he's changing people's life around. Uh, I just thank him for everything. Uh, I'm uploading this to YouTube, and I got to do this all over again on Facebook. Uh, nobody's going to be hearing from me for at least five days. But I will be listening to some people's posts. Have a blessed day in the name of Jesus.